Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, I'm so glad you stopped by. My name is Denise and I make tons of videos on cleaning motivation, home renovations, DIYs, organization, and things like that. I try to post every Sunday, but it's been a little difficult lately since I don't have a ton of help with the kids anymore. That said, this is our second episode in our Prep Kitchen Makeover series. I think I'm gonna have one more after this, so I'm very excited to kind of show you guys the reveal, and I'm really excited to kind of finish the space up. But today, I'm gonna to be working on all the fine finishes and then hanging up the cabinetry, so you guys will really get a good idea of the layout of the space. So I hope you enjoy the video, and let's get on with it. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, if you could while you're watching this, go ahead and do that for me. I would really appreciate it. I'm not gonna whine about it or anything, but I don't think my videos have been pushed like they used to, so uh, subscriber growth have been, has been pretty slow going, even though I truly appreciate every single one of you that's here, that's always rooting me on, that's always supporting me. I love you, but just in case either YouTube has unsubscribed you or you've been watching but never hit that button, I would greatly appreciate it if you could. You can also follow me over on Instagram. I've got an easy link down in the description box. I post more kind of relaxed family stuff there and I try to make regular reels that are usually either silly or have something to do with home renovations. On this day, I did still have help. This was weeks ago, um, and I really wanted to focus on really polishing the space off and finishing it. So I caulked every square inch of this space before I painted. That way I got rid of all the seams and everything looked a little bit more custom and a little bit more polished. Going down. Now I can hold 
these radiant heaters tend to take on a ton of like dirt and dust everything just kind of settles on them and same thing with the window sills so I made sure to go through the entire room and just give everything a deep clean before I went through and caulked and gave it a fresh coat fresh coat fresh coat of Chantilly lace by Benjamin Moore it's my favorite white it looks beautiful and it popped against the wallpaper Part of me wanted to speed through a lot of this even faster than it already is but I know there are a lot of you out there like me who enjoy watching kind of tedious satisfying work like this so I did leave it and I do hope you or most of you appreciate it. Also, I have no idea what's going on with my voice. I'm extremely hoarse right now. I don't feel sick or anything, so I'm really not sure what's going on, but I am very hoarse and it sounds super funny when I play these back. So in case you guys notice, I noticed too. And yes, something is going on.
So because it's very obvious what I'm doing here, I don't have a ton to talk about other than yes, my I still had Christmas Christmas decor up at this point. What month was this? So when I did film this part, I think it was like, I can't even talk right now. It was like five weeks ago maybe. And my Christmas decor was still up. I didn't take it down because I was recovering from surgery and John was helping me with everything else I couldn't do so the lights are still on the house but all the decor is down thank goodness well not all of it I still have garland around my door it is April you guys anyway I don't have a ton to talk about it's very clear what I'm doing here so I just thought I'd fill you in on what's going on in our life and I'm not sure why so we are still nanny free I am getting a little bit of help from our first nanny who is in town right now um, which has been super helpful. She's here here and there when she can be and anything helps me um, That said all of our projects are kind of slow going And that said even though they're slow going I still keep piling them on right now I'm doing these voiceovers, but it is Saturday the day before Easter and I am working on another project as soon as I finish this video I am building a hall tree in our entryway um, and we are working on our prep kitchen as well. Um, but yeah, so we are just kind of solo with the kids. I am mostly solo with the kids and still trying to maintain work. Uh, it is very difficult, but if I'm being honest, I am loving having my kids to myself and not relying on somebody else. It's really helped kind of, I don't know how to put it. It's helped me prioritize my time a little bit better and appreciate every single second with them because I am their sole provider all day, every day now until John gets home. And I like a challenge. I'm always, I thrive on chaos and high energy and I'm getting just that. So anyway, um, we will also be going on a trip at the end of May. We're going to Florida, which we are very much looking forward to, but I cannot call it a vacation because if you have children, especially young children, you know any vacation is not a vacation, it is a trip. That said, we are still very much looking forward to it, so I'm trying to get as much work done as possible, as much um, content and videos out and edited that I can so that when I'm gone, I don't have to worry about it. So that is what I will be working on.
All right, so now it's finally time to get started on our cabinetry. You guys, I just used these Besta boxes from Ikea. I thought that they looked, the size was right. It was exactly what I needed. I looked up, down, around in circles, all over the place for kitchen cabinetry to use in here, but everything was either sold out, outrageously exp expensive, or on back order for months. And I thought, this space is a semi-temporary space. We don't know exactly when we're gonna be doing our full kitchen remodel that is like blowing out this whole back end of the house, putting in a whole new big old kitchen and then a new garage, etc probably in a couple of years. So that said, I just really, how many times do I say that said in this video? Oh, whatever. Um, I knew that I didn't need to spend a ton of money in this space and didn't want to. So these Besta boxes from Ikea are fantastic, you guys. We just had to put a lot of elbow grease into them. You have to sand the bejesus out of them and then you have to use a very specific primer. I used bin primer and then painted it twice or two coats of paint and then I sealed it. So. You guys get to see all of that. I'm gonna run through it as quickly as possible and try not to make it so super boring. But I ended up mounting these on the wall. That way they're floating away from the floor so it still made the room, which is a pretty big room, it makes it feel just as big as it as it is without putting a bunch of bulky furniture on it to make it feel smaller. Uh, I love having the space underneath them, so I will show you guys that shortly. But right now we are starting by priming these cabinets and then painting them the uh, backwoods by Benjamin Moore that I painted in our kitchen. So enjoy. I'm going to stop talking. Oh man, you guys, you, I can't tell you how much I love this color. You probably know if you watch my kitchen uh, makeover video, but this Backwoods by Benjamin Moore is so delicious and it actually took on a totally different quality in our prep kitchen because the prep kitchen gets a ton of natural light. The entire wall in front of the cabinets is all windows, so it gets so much natural light that this color pulled more of like a light sagey green i guess whereas in the kitchen kitchen we only have one window and just like incandescent light i guess so it just pulls much much darker both are equally beautiful so if you're looking for like a beautiful moody classic green you cannot go wrong with this color it looks incredible in every light and i can't wait to show you guys what it looks like in the prep kitchen
I've been very lucky having this giant space in the basement and the flooring that we do to always set up a painting space down here. The, the garage is a wreck, which that is going to be a May video. We're doing a full garage clean out. But uh, because it's a mess and because right now the weather is so temperamental, one day it's very warm and lovely and then but it also freezes overnight or the next day it's windy and cold. It's just too unpredictable. So I need a safe and predictable place to paint. So I always set out this sheet and these two by fours and just make a great place to paint. Um, but it gets a little fumey. I open the windows, whatever. I don't wear a respirator. Don't come at me, but I'm used to this. Um, I'm just very fortunate that I can do this. And because it's not a space we use all the time, I can let these things sit down there and dry and cure come back to it a week later when I actually get a minute. Um, but yeah, it will be really nice to be able to get all of this junk out from the basement, scrape any paint drips off the floor and move on. On the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair This is now weeks later and my parents are in town. Uh, this, they were in town for Lenny's birthday so I got a ton of help from them. My mom was an angel and super helpful with the kids while my dad was getting his hands dirty and working super hard to help me get a lot of the heavy lifting done since I still didn't couldn't do a ton of lifting post-surgery uh yeah so it was just super helpful you guys are going to see my dad a lot in here and dad if you're watching i appreciate you so much and i really enjoy it editing this and watching us working together i miss you already mom dad and i love you so so much let's give my mom and dad a huge thank you because if they weren't here helping me out i would not have gotten literally i would not have gotten this done so it just yeah, I can't say it enough. I really appreciate it. Sing, won't you sing with me? Leave everything for me. Stay the night. Oh your flight walk through the rain with me get soaked to the skin feel free shut the world out let's hang out oh i used to see in colors now it's gray till i
I'm really not sure why my dad and I had a pretty difficult time we struggled hanging the first set of boxes on the other wall but this one was a breeze I don't know if it's just this house is so old and maybe it's not standard as far as the way it's built even though it should we couldn't find studs where they were supposed to be uh, so it was just really weird and a little challenging to kind of figure out but at the end of the day it worked out and this this side was a breeze so we were very grateful for that this heart yeah wanna feel your arms around me i need you more need you here more than i would like to admit let's forget about tomorrow yeah should i hide away forever should i close my eyes and never again hold you tight call you mine Think about you every time I remember that it's old. I also ended up kind of over painting. If I would have known like what area was going to be hidden by another cabinet or by the countertop or whatever, I wouldn't have painted every single place, which is why you saw that middle one wasn't painted on top. You can't see it. Um, the other thing is the inside of these boxes are not perfect. Um, I didn't put a ton of energy on the inside when I was painting them. And when I put the shelves in later, you guys will see they were, they were sticky. It was very hard to get them in. So a lot of the paint kind of ripped off because of the pressure I put on it um, but anyway it's not a big deal I can touch the stuff up on the inside and you can't see it anyway but when I tell you guys this took a lot of elbow grease I mean it we sanded so much because these are going to be like highly trafficked pieces so we wanted to make sure we sanded really 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 well so we stood outside in the sun here. It felt great, but we, my dad and I put a ton of work into this. Uh, so yeah, if you're gonna do this project, just prepare to sand your heart out. If you have a hand sander, we do. I just didn't wanna use it on these things. I thought it was a little bit safer just using blocks and paper and it was fine. We enjoyed it. It was just a lot of work. Think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop. Can't stop, yeah, yeah. You never lose an argument So I've been trying hard to pretend That I'm okay, it's just a phase And everything is going just great I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop, yeah, yeah
that particular door had some like bubbles and bumps on it so I went with some fine grit sandpaper and just smoothed it out but I am finally at a point where I am sealing these doors uh, and it felt fantastic to get to this point I did use my sealant brush by accident and I didn't want to run to the store so I ended up using a roller a foam roller it looks really really good in most areas but there are two doors that I'm just gonna finely sand and then redo with a brush when I get a minute uh, because they're a little streaky but overall this actually worked well I think I should have just used a little bit more product and a lighter hand but whatever it looks great and I'm not gonna be picky I'm very happy with oh, it running around inside my head emotions keep coming they're keeping me from thinking straight thought it would be different when i got my things in place stuck in this commotion how come i ain't past this yet i want to me that be somebody else another me that doesn't need your help but if i'm honest i don't think we got it I try to change the things you never like Try to make this better, make this right But we're the same Even though I changed Really made an effort, promised I would change But something stayed the same Wanted to do better, wanted to be great But something stayed the same I also went through and sealed all of the exposed parts of the boxes and the island um, and got that out of the way really quickly and and then later this night I end up hanging the door so you guys will see that Try to change the things you never like Try to make this better, make this right But we're the same, even though I changed Really made an effort, promise I would change But something stayed the same Wanted to do better, wanted to be great But something stayed the same Something stayed the same Something stayed Effort, promise I would change, but something stayed the same. Wanted to do better, wanted to be great, but something stayed the same. Don't wanna wake up, I might be dreaming. I might be dreaming. Stirring things up, my heart is beating My heart the hinges that Ikea provided with the best of doors, or I might have bought them separately, I don't know. Everything's kind of in pieces, but it was very easy to hang. And then I ended up purchasing the little like push open closed door unit. You guys will see that it's a little mechanism, which is fantastic. But I did still order some beautiful brass hardware. They no longer carry the hardware that we have in the kitchen, but I still chose brass. So it at least had a similar vibe that we have in the kitchen. I will show you guys a short glimpse of what this space looks like 
where I'm at now, but I truly, truly hope you enjoyed it. And I cannot wait to show you the next one. I can't wait to get off of this chair right now and go hang up my shelves and build the form for our countertop. We are actually taking off the butcher block, the faux butcher block countertop from the island, and we are making a concrete countertop. So I will walk you guys through that when we do it as well. Again, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you in next week's video.